Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a cool cinematic volume metric scene, if that makes sense. Basically, it's going to be one of those like moody, foggy kind of scenes. It's actually really easy and everything I'm going to use, except for maybe the tree, will be free. And yeah, it's going to be pretty easy to do. Let's jump into it. So first thing, what you want to do is go shift A and go to mesh get a plane then zoom in s scale this up somewhere like that okay if you don't know why i've got this and how to do it I've got a video on it you can check it out but what you want to do is go to tab right click subdivide go down here and just subdivide it about 30 times okay and now what you want to do is stay in edit mode, go here and enable proportional editing, click here, smooth. And now what you can do is pick a point, so somewhere there, and I'm watching this while I do it. And then just go G, and you can grab and you can roll your scroll wheel to make it bigger. So basically creating like a ground there, boom, G, bring it up, something like that. Come a bit forward, G, you can bring this down. So you can see that then makes nice like gradient. And then you can just go tab and you're out of edit mode. Now, if you want, you can just right click shade smooth. Not really too much of an issue. Now what I'm gonna do is get, get the volume first. So just gonna go shift A, mesh cube, S, scale it up. So it covers, so it basically, covers your whole scene go back to camera mode and zoom in and then with the cube selected go to shading and go yeah just hit new and what you want to do is click on the principal psdf delete it shift a volume and get a principled volume plug this into the volume and you can bring this down to about 0.05 and what you can do is click here and hide it for now. Let's go back to layout. Now what you want to do is go to your world, color, and make it completely dark. We will get our own lighting. So you can see if I go here, yeah, make sure you are seeing cycles. Okay. If I go here, yeah, everything will be dark. Don't worry, we'll put a light in, get everything looking nice and smooth, crispy. Not really crispy. Misty, foggy, moody. So what I'm going to use is the blender kit add-on link in the description you get 10 percent off i've got the paid version but you can get some assets using the free version too all you're going to do is find models and then what you're going to do is hit tree search bring this down and we can find one that we like let's get this I'm kind of looking for like a i think this will be good Bring it in there, let it download. Okay, and we'll probably have to scale it up. So click the tree, S, S, scale it up. Something like this, G, and we can bring it to somewhere there. You could always bring it to somewhere like that. We can play around with it later. Okay, it looks nice. So for the ground, you can use, again, free materials. So you can get just get ground and like i said a lot of this is all free you can see dry land ground ground and we can use this one just add it onto the ground you can see there we go now okay yeah you can see it's been added and there we go you don't have to really do this while you it is better to add like a material you can also go to ducky 3d he's got a free free luck -like version of real-time materials i've got the full version but I'm sure you could find something for your ground as well. Also, check it out. Okay, now what I'm going to do is you can see uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to basically add a model without having to like download a model by just using the image. This only works for these kind of moody scenes with not much detail in the person. But what you want to do is go to edit preferences if you haven't watched the video and just images as planes check this so make sure it's enabled save preferences 
And then what you want to do is type in silhouette human figure, go to images, and you can see what you want to do is make sure it's PNG as well. Okay. And then just download one, like a full body one, something like this, something like that, something like that. I've got one already. And once you've done that, download it, go back to Blender. And then let's go back here. And what you want to do is go Shift A, go to Image, Images as Planes, and look for the one that you downloaded. Mine is here. Click on it, hit Emit, Import. Okay, now go to X, zoom in, G, bring it up. Something like that. Let's go back to camera. G, bring it somewhere like that. Now, it will be in. We might have to rotate it. Let's have a look. Next thing we want to do is get a light. Okay. What you want to use, it's probably an area light. So what you can do, you can even use a so shift A. Let's get a light in quickly. You can also use a spotlight, but let's go with, I mean, not an area light, sorry, a point light. So point X, G, let's bring it up. And let's bring back the cube. And what you want to do is just go to wire mode. And we want to bring the light above the cube. Okay. Let's go to Z, top view. G, bring it here. G, bring it there. And now, let's go here. So we can see what we're doing. And then what you want to do is bring the lights up. So it's going to have to go up pretty high. Okay. Might be a little bit bright like that. You can see our model is just a little bit something like that. And the tree might be a bit far back. But what we can do is go back to our light. Click the point light. Let's bring it down to about... 20,000, that looks good. You can change the color. So what you want to do is make it like a blue, something like that. And the tree is a little bit far, and our human is a little bit close. So what you can do is hide this cube. Let's go back here, go back there. Hit this, go to Z, zoom in, G and bring this back. Somewhere like that. That might look a bit better, let's have a look now. The cube back. That's looking good. You can see these lines are, won't be visible if I do this. This will be what our image looks like. And now you can play with your cube. So click on your cube. Let's go back to shading. Bring this density 0.15. Back to layout. You can see that makes it a bit darker. Now we can blast the lights a bit more. Click on the light. 35,000. You can see it's a bit too much, so it's a bit rough. Let's go back to density. You just have to play around with it. So 0 0.1, layout, and we can change our ground. So what I'm going to do is you can find something else. I'm going to use an add-on for some grass. So boom, boom, click on the plane, boom, grass, add. Okay, and then what I did was my computer crashed, so I had to recreate everything again. Um, so I didn't save. So just remember, quick tip, get your file, save, and it can save while you work, just safer. Because what I did was I deleted the ground, and what I did was I, I, I added some grass, so it might crash again, but let's see. So what I did was, let me just go here, and make sure your plane is selected, and I added some grass this is paid but there is a grass world add-on now that you can get free grass just by scattering and yeah just type in youtube grass world free and there's a few videos on how to use it and you could probably get the same results as me but i'm gonna just gonna quickly throw on grass with flowers boom okay didn't crash very nice and now I go here, and it's looking nice. So you can see light hitting here. And if I hide this, this is what the render will look like. And it looks pretty nice. So what you could always do is go to your output, resolution, make it 1920 by 1080. Click on your camera, 
and let's just go here camera make it a bit wider somewhere like that bring this up somewhere there and then let's zoom in a little bit something like that and that looks good now let's have a look let's look you now so you can see you got the grass there the person and the tree and the light and it's nice fog moody scene again i'm going to save it and yeah it's that easy so you don't need the grass you can like i said you can use assets and scatter it's also pretty easy but yeah cinematic nice foggy scene nighttime scene hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe this one took a bit of long because i had to read everything but lesson learned i should have known better i mean sometimes it does crash but i yeah, just keep that in mind see you in the next video check out the patreon make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video peace